There's so much news coming from cruise this week. All the big players, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian Cruise Line, Carnival, and much more. We've put it all together in one easy bumper episode for you to watch, so stay tuned. Well, ahoy there, cruisers. We're Cruise with Ben and David. Hope you're safe and well. So let's go straight to the news and break it down into the different cruise lines. We're first going to start with Royal Caribbean. This also includes Celebrity Cruises as well as Azamara. So they've announced that they've cancelled all sailings up till July the 31st. This means, like Carnival, they're planning to resume cruising on August the 1st. It really does sound like this could be the date that it starts again because it's the first time lots of the cruise lines are putting the same dates out. And as well, this is after the no sale order ends on July the 24th that was put in place by the CDC a few months ago. They've said they will not return to sailing until they feel completely confident. And this is really good to hear. They're putting their crew first as well as us, the passengers first. They want to make sure they get it right. They're working on a four-pronged return to healthy service plan. This plan hasn't been released yet. They're still underway on working on it. But as soon as we hear anything more, we'll get back to you. We've already put out plenty of videos suggesting what is going to happen. So check them out on our channel as well. Royal Caribbean have also said sailings from international ports might return sooner than America. This is because some countries are further along the COVID-19 track than others. Countries especially in Europe are further ahead so we could see things happening here a little bit sooner. Cruise ships could also sail with fewer guests. Just today Chief Financial Officer Jason Liberty of Royal Caribbean has said Newer ships only need around a 30% load factor to break even. So this is great. It means that things like social distancing, which we still don't think will work, not just on cruise lines, it won't work anywhere. Doctors have already said it won't work on flights, local transport, busy places. It's not going to work anywhere to do with tourism, really. But it is going to make it a little bit more possible in things like the dining rooms and the big busy areas. And a 30% load factor. I'm really surprised at that it does mean that they can still be making money on these ships even if they're not at capacity i'm really surprised yeah, at that 30 that really that's, that's just over a third it's under a third full yeah it's crazy that's crazy next up we have an update from norwegian cruise line well the same news is coming from royal caribbean all sailings are cancelled up to july the 31st and this means that they're going to be sailing again on August the 1st. Now, this is a much more realistic date, we feel, and it's much more positive. Just like Royal Caribbean, this really could go ahead. Yeah, and the CDC have kept very quiet about extending or removing that no sale ban. So because these dates are after that ban, it makes us feel like this could actually happen. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Just like Royal Caribbean and almost all cruise lines, if your sailing was cancelled, you will receive a future cruise credit if affected. We always say that if you can take the future cruise credit, do take it as that really does support cruise lines and you'll be able to use that on a future sailing in the future. But we do appreciate that not everybody is able to take the future cruise credit due to their financial situation. Yeah, we've already taken three different future cruise credits and we will absolutely be booking new cruises. Would be silly not to because some of the offers are fantastic. We've got 125% back on all three of our cruises, yep. which gives us plenty more money to be able to do more cruises or even longer cruises. Cruise lines definitely need our support at this time. If you still want to cruise in the future and have plenty of choice, we need to support the cruise lines as much as we can book book in advance but remember you've got lots of these cruise with confidence schemes with most of the cruise lines where you can cancel up to a certain date but we have to be in all of this together and support cruise lines as much as we can we don't want to see any cruise lines going anywhere definitely and also remember that your future cruise credit is only based on the base fare of the cruise not on any port taxes or fees and you will be refunded then straight back to the payment method that you paid the cruise with also, Norwegian Cruise Line are offering an additional 20% off any sailings that are booked with the Future Cruise Credit before May the 31st. That is a fantastic deal. So you're getting 25% Future Cruise Credit and an extra 20% off. It's a lot of money. It's making us, we just can't wait to cruise again, can definitely we? And we're not. definitely booking for as soon as we can. We're not just saying this, we really can't wait to cruise. It's our favorite type of vacation, isn't it? It is. In addition, they also announced that future cruise credits can be transferred to a different passenger. 
So that means that if you don't want to sell or you can't sell in the future, you can transfer your credit to somebody else. This makes it incredibly flexible and it's a really and really fantastic, isn't it? Because it really means you can get the full benefit of that future cruise credit. So next up, we have Carnival Cruise Line. They're still hoping to sail like the others from August the 1st. They were working on a $200 million free port project. Now, this is a brand new private island in the Bahamas located on the island of Grand Bahama. They're still moving forward with these plans, but slowly. But it's good news to hear that they're still going ahead with things, even though we're having this big lockdown. So next up, Disney Cruise Line have cancelled all sailings till at least July the 27th. In line with the CDC no sale order. Again, we're seeing every cruise line do the same thing now. This means that sailing from August the 1st and onwards, depending on the different ships you're on, the first ship leaves on August the 1st. Again, you can have a full refund or 125% future cruise credit if you've been affected and obviously this is in line with all of the other major cruise lines. So next up, let's have an update from Virgin Voyages. They've delayed the Scarlet Lady launch again. Now it's happening on October the 16th. This is the second time they've delayed it. They're offering a very generous future cruise credit on all those passengers who are affected by the cancellations. This is a whopping 200% future cruise credit that is wow. double the amount that you paid for your cruise. It is absolutely the most generous offer in the industry. How fantastic is that? You could do two cruises of the same length or you could upgrade to a suite. Yeah. A fantastic offer. On top of that, they're offering an extra $500 onboard credit for anybody that uses their future cruise credits on bookings before June the 30th. So obviously this amount will depend on what type of cabin you book with $500 being for the top suite. But how amazing is that? It's such a shame because the naming ceremony is also being pushed back to early 2021 yeah. for Scarlet Lady. And it's such a shame for Virgin because they were a brand new cruise line. About to launch. Hit at the yeah. worst time. And honestly, if you haven't watched our video yet, a lot of people love it. A lot of people hate it. She's like Marmite but we absolutely loved it. We think she's really revolutionary and you need to really try her out to experience it and we can't Definitely. wait to experience it, can yeah, we? Yeah, it was just so nice to see something completely different to everything that's out there brought into the industry and yeah. we can't wait to try it. But like we said, you either love it or you hate it and if, if it's not for you, there's We've got plenty of plenty other, other cruise lines. Yeah, there's loads of cruise lines out there. That's why we need to support them. This also affects the ports and uh, the destinations. Yeah, and that brings us to some port news. The Bahamas have said they could welcome back cruises by July the 1st. That's really good news. They've obviously taken a massive major eco economic hit through this, especially because of the lack of tourism and all of the ships they get in their port. It's a lot of money they're missing out mm -hmm. from. They're finalising health and safety protocols, but the date could change as also they want to get it right as well. Just like the cruise lines, they don't want to come out with a bad plan. They want to get it right. But it's a really good sign that cruising will be back sooner than later. Definitely. Greece and Spain are also looking at opening for the rest of the summer as well. So we could see some European cruises maybe. Fingers crossed it might not happen, but it's a really good sign that places are finally starting to open again. And onto some not so great news now about about crew that are still stuck on board the cruise ships. It's been all over the news. It is really awful, guys. We do really appreciate that they are desperate to get home. But the cruise lines are doing a lot to help the crew. This isn't being reported in the media because obviously it doesn't make good news. For example, Royal Caribbean have set up a confidential mental health helpline, which is available to call for 24 hours offshore or on the ships. They're doing everything they can, all of the cruise lines are, to get the crew off the ships. But what's not being reported is that it is super hard for them to do this. It's an absolute logistical nightmare. Lots of places around the world, including the USA, have put on ridiculous restrictions to stop crew members being able to get off easily. Things like them not being allowed to take normal flights, normal transport. Cruise lines such as Royal Caribbean are putting on extra charter flights. This is costing them millions of dollars to do, but they are doing everything they can to repatriate the crew as fast as possible. It's just not as simple as it sounds. Like you said, we've even seen them actually use their ships to get crew around the world. Only last week we had a Carnival ship 
in the UK bringing a lot of the UK crew home. And as you know, there's a lack of flights, transport, as everything is on shutdown. And as we said, external restrictions stopping crew from leaving ships, as some countries are requiring two weeks quarantine before they're allowed to move on or travel home. But the main thing to we have to say is that don't listen to the main media. The crew are not being held hostage. This is just making good news stories. Every cruise line we've talked to are working around the clock to get their crew home. Yeah, definitely. But we do feel the frustration of oh, the crew. It must be awful it being in isolation. Be terrible they must just want to get home to their family and their loved ones so it's just a situation that is not in their favor at the moment and that is no. absolutely awful and the unfortunate thing is that the cruise lines themselves can do very little about it even though they're the ones getting blamed which is horrible to see but as we said all the crew are being fed they've all gotten most of the cruise lines are giving really nice cabins like balcony cabins and ocean view cabins so they've got more room but as you know, these are unprecedented times. Nothing like this was ever expected. It's just going to take time, isn't it, really? But let us know what you think about all of this news. Are you happy that cruising might return soon again? What are your plans? What cruises are you planning yeah. to take? Do you think that this new date set out is realistic and we actually could see ships uh, cruising from them? Because we've had so many dates up to now and we've always said, that's not going to happen. Give us a realistic date. Do you think that it's a realistic date? Let us know in the comments section below. We're feeling a little bit more hopeful. Fingers crossed we can all be cruising as soon as possible and we can get some normal content back. And thanks again to all of our patrons. You are amazing supporting us, especially so through much. these tough times. As a patron, you get extra things like behind the scenes videos, extra videos, as well as a podcast every two weeks. You can find out about being coming a patron in the description section below. And our captain of the week this week is Mark and Deborah. Also captains. Happy, I should say captains, yeah. Happy cruising, not at the end yet. <laughs> I was gonna say ahoy. <laughs> so that's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising, August 1st.